Hi guys, um, my name is Claire Fennell and I'm the creator of 100 Days of Activism. Before this video starts, I just wanted to say really quickly um, that today we are going to be hearing from um, Jewish activist and podcast host Natalie Goldberg about the connection between the movement against anti-Semitism as well as the anti-racism movement um, and how those two movements can work in solidarity with each other and what the connections between them are. Um, so before I turn it over to Natalie, I just wanted to say that I would love to create more videos like this and if you have interest in sharing your story, sharing your perspective on something related to the Black Lives Matter movement to please reach out to me. Um, you can reach out on the 100 Days of Activism account or my personal account which is at Claire M. Fennell. Either way, I would love to hear your story and help share your voices. Um, so please let me know, um, and with that, I will let Natalie take away the rest of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I think she has brought some wonderful insight to the table, and I encourage you to keep watching. Hey everyone, so Claire asked me to make a video for 100 Days of Activism talking about anti-Semitism and racism and how the two intersect and are connected. So I just wanted to start by talking about the different types of Jews in general because something that a lot of people misunderstand about the faith is that it's only one type of Jew, the Jew that's stereotypically portrayed in the media, but in reality it's a very diverse faith um, ethnically and geographically. So I wanted to talk about the different types of Jews. Um, and first it's Ashkenazi Jews which are Jews from Germany and Northern France ethnically. And this is the type of Jew that's often portrayed in the media and stereotyped. Um, but this is definitely not the only kind of Jew that there is. There's also Sephardic Jews, which are Jews from the Iberian Peninsula and from the Spanish diaspora in general. And there's Mizrahi Jews, which are Jews that are ethnically from the Middle East. And then there's Ethiopian Jews who are from Ethiopia. And I think that not only does this show just like the beauty and diversity of the faith in general, but it also shows the fact that there are black Jews, both ethnically and obviously um, Jews that are black that have converted to the faith. So just there is a huge intersection because those Jews feel both the impacts of anti-Semitism and the impacts of the racism that are perpetrate that's perpetrated all over the world. But additionally, anti-Semitism and anti-black sentiment are hugely connected historically. Hitler's values were hugely in influenced by Jim Crow laws in the United States. And it's just really important to understand that connection in order to fight against anti-Semitism and anti-Black sentiment racism in general. So in addition to that, I wanted to talk about anti-Semitism a little bit in general because it's been really prevalent in the media lately. And I found this post on Instagram from at abby.adams that I wanted to talk about because I thought that it summed up my opinions and my feelings really well. And obviously I don't speak for all Jews and I just want to put that out there, but this is my personal opinion. Um, and I think that it's important for everyone to hear this. So the first thing that Abby Adams talks about in her post is that Jewish oppression and Jewish history is way more than just the Holocaust and that it's important to educate yourself on that so you can understand the struggles of Jews all over the world in the past and now because anti-Semitism is at an all-time high and if you look at the reports of hate crimes and all of that kind of stuff you'll see that anti-Semitism is a huge issue and has been for a really long time even though the media hasn't really been talking about it. She talks about a lot more stuff in the post, but I'm just going to have Claire like link it below or put it over this. Um, but the one thing that I do wanna talk about is the controversy that's often surrounding these discussions of anti-Semitism, which is the issue of the Israel-Palestine conflict or Zionism and all of that kind of stuff. And first I wanna make it clear that when you talk to a Jewish person, you shouldn't assume that they want to talk to you about the Israel-Palestine conflict or that they have an opinion, but I'm going to share my personal opinion and talk about what the issue is with all of this discussion about the Israel-Palestine conflict. Um, so, ethnically as I talked about earlier there are Jews that are native to the Middle East or ethnically from the Middle East and they are indigenous to that area and were prior to Israel getting statehood after World War II so that's really important to consider when having these discussions about the Israel-Palestine conflict um, and there is a huge connection to Israel in the Jewish faith and obviously that's been there but way before um, Israel gained statehood. So it's just really important to bear all that information in mind. Um, and then I also want to talk about some misconceptions with Zionism. 
a lot of people have been talking about how it's a white supremacist movement and while there are definitely some people that use zionism to further their white supremacist anti-palestinian ideals zionism as a concept is not about that zionism is simply supporting the right to jewish self-determination the same kind of rights that's supported to any other group and it has nothing to do with oppressing Palestinians and it just has been used in that way by the Israeli government and so I think it's really important to understand the background and make sure that you're not making any sweeping generalizations or anything like that and understand that just because someone is Jewish doesn't mean they support the atrocities taking place and being committed by the Israeli government. And I'm not personally going to take a stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict, at least on this platform, but I just urge you to please do your research about the ethnic Jews of the Middle East and the history of Zionism and what it truly means rather than just what Instagram posts are telling you and all of that kind of stuff. And I can link some resources down below or ask Claire to do that. I just wanna urge the Jewish community and the black community to practice solidarity with each other and help each other because it's really important that we both fight for all, fight against all kinds of racism and discrimination and bigotry in general.